Previously on the bill. My pen started exactly the same way as those old people today. That's why I differ with you handling the situation. Happy now? I'm going to a paternity test for you needn't know. I'll rip your face off! Go home, Marie! Or I'm warning you, you will regret it! Yeah, fine, yeah. Sergeant Smith must have a rather large drink on his way for saving you. Yeah, I'll have a shirt and bottle. You know Jess survived the crash? Yeah, I know. Have you seen him? No, I haven't. I'll show you what I do. I'm going to him. Reg, what happened in that car? Well, look, Des heard you'd got the tell the super that it was him who started the fire. And then he's lost it. He drove into that building and took me with him. Next thing I knew, I woke up in a hospital bed. I didn't tell the super. I wasn't even with him. I was with Patrick telling him our marriage was over. Are you okay? Yeah. Rich! How are you doing? Oh, it's okay. You look great, mate. Well, yeah, you know, the nurses are wonderful. Oh, you lucky thing. No more polyester. Which I just can't cope with the expanse. Sorry I'm a bit late. I did try to call, but your mobile's on the blink. That was because Marie Carver took the liberty of smashing it up. Honestly, that woman has seriously got it in for me. She's convinced that I'm plotting to steal Jim away from her. <laughs> what? I mean, not only is she deluded, she's also an alcoholic. She followed me to my car last night. She tried to assault me. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I mean, uh, she could barely stand up, let alone do me any damage. In fact, I've just had her on the phone trying to apologise. Would you mind reading that over for me? You reporting her? No. It's just that if she pulls any more tricks, I want everything written down and witnessed. Does Jim know? And I don't think there's much to be gained from him finding out either. Responsibilities, haven't I? I've got to ask myself why he drove into that building. Why he drove into that building. I mean, it's under the actions of an innocent man. I'll tell you what I think. I reckon you and I have been turned into a right couple of mugs by Des. What do you mean? Well, we took his word for it, didn't we? That he threw the petrol bomb in at the station to get rid of some dodgy 50s. Now, what if his accident turned out to be deliberate? He wasn't worried about taking my life. He's not going to be concerned about a bunch of CID suits he hardly knew. Des isn't a cold blooded murderer, Reg. Mm. Come on, Mr. Eight Lives, we've got a shout. How was... Manchester, my dad's funeral. Um, well, let's just say I never thought I'd be so glad to be back at work. Thanks, Arch. Hey, I can't believe you and Des got out of that fireball alive. How come he's gone AWOL? No postcards from the Bahamas, then? Hey, maybe he's used this accident as, like, an opportunity to reinvent himself, you know what I mean? I bet he's a florist in Milton Keynes now. Where do you think he's gone? Oh, you're a good mate. She must have some idea. Look, I haven't seen or heard from him. All right. Start the car. Thank you, sir. You all right? Yeah. 
think so. What's your name? Naomi. Naomi Clark. I'm PC Hollis from Sun Hill. How's your head? Banging. I think I hit it on the pavement. I think it's best we get it seen to. Gary, sort an ambulance. Sierra Oscar from 149. Uh, ambulance requested, please, for Dunsworth Close. Can you tell me what happened, Naomi? I'm not really sure. It all happened so quickly. Well, what did you see? Well, I didn't, I'm afraid. I'm blind. We had this blanket at our school, right? Get this. Good juggle. Mm. It shows it, doesn't it? Used to make a fortune of all the new kids. She's mine. Miss Clark, how are you feeling? Much better. Thank you for looking after me. What's your first name? I can't keep calling you PC Hollis. It's Reg. I'll call you Reg if you call me Naomi. You can call me Gary as well if you want. Thanks, Gary. So, Naomi, do you remember anything about the attack yet? Not much, I'm afraid. One minute I was on my feet, the next I was on the pavement, and I remember banging my head. Did anyone talk to you? No. Have you checked your stuff? Is there anything missing? My purse is still there, but my mobile's gone. It's the most commonly reported crime, that. Reg, I think I might be able to remember more if we went back. You know, if we do one of those reconstructions. Do you know, that's a very, very good idea. Well, it might help you to remember what it looked like as well. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, it, it's just whether you don't look blind. Oh, yeah? You don't look much like an ophthalmologist. And. <laughs> <laughs> One of the mums found the camera hid in the showers. Told her husband. The next thing I know, there's a vigilante mob on the loose. So how do you end up in the pool? I tried to come one of the fathers down. He did a swing at me. Then his wife pushed me in. Threatened to drown me. Why you? Because they presume it's me that hid the camera. Why? Because it's my camera. They've all seen me with it. I'm a swimming coach. I film all the races. We're very good. So you're denying concealing the camera? How could I? I had an exam my locker two weeks ago. Reg, just two minutes of your time. I didn't do the right thing either. Close the door, Reg. I didn't tell the super about Des's involvement in the fire until after the crash. Until I found out there was no trace of his body. I should have told Adam straight away. But like you, I didn't. We're the same. I've known for over a year now that Des has been responsible for killing six people. Six of my colleagues. I haven't said a word. You kept quiet because you cared about Des. Yeah, look at the thanks that got me. I'm as bad as Des. Look, I've just got this hanging over me. I can't live with it anymore. I don't deserve to be wearing this uniform. I can't keep Des's dirty secret for any longer. I'm going to have to go and tell the super. You'll be charged with conspiring to pervert the course of justice. And you'll never be a copper again. You know, this catted camera thing was always bugged. What do you mean? Well, why isn't there a specific law against filming women with a hidden camera like there is for children? I think it's voyeurism made easy, don't you? What the earth? What the kid in a sweetie store? Hey. What are you doing here? Are you here about the camera in the showers? Yes. I'll, I'll speak to you later. That's why I said the daughter. I didn't know you were married. Desmond's my partner's girl. Uh, Sarge, uh, that's Steve Tomlin, the swimming coach we found in the pool, oh, yeah. along with his camera. Oh, so it was his, was it? Yeah, but he's claiming it was stolen a couple of weeks ago. He says he has no insurance, so he didn't report it. What did the parents say about him? It's a bit of a lad, popular with the kids, but they're out for blood because children use those showers as well. But there's nothing concrete, so. Is the manager here? On holiday. Okay. Steve? <sighs> Sergeant Acosta. Am I pleased to see you? There's been a little misunderstanding. So this is about where you were? I was walking this way. Now, what else did you hear? Were there any people around? Any cars? No, it was pretty quiet, I think. Hang on. I did hear breaking glass. 
And was that before or after you were attacked? A couple of seconds before. And where did that come from? Behind, I'd say. What happened next? I carried on walking. Away from the glass? Yeah. And then I heard someone running. And then I stopped. I was a bit scared. And then, bang, he hit me, I went down, cracked my head on the pavement. Why did you know it was a man? He had a very masculine smell. Sweaty. And what did he do after he did you? Kept on running. Didn't stop. Hmm. Is that it, then? Uh, well, uh, we'll be making more inquiries, but uh, if we need to ask him any questions, we'll get in touch. Can't I stick around and help? I find all this sort of thing fascinating. And you never know, I might remember something else. Well, um, that's very kind of you, but uh, we'll take it from here. Now, if you think of anything else, give us a call, all right? In the meantime, Gary will give you a lift home, and I'm going to knock on some of these doors, see if I can find any witnesses. Whose is that? Sounds a bit like mine. <clears throat> Hello? No, it's the right number, it's just the, the wrong person. Hang on. For you. Hello? Oh, hi. Can I call you back? OK, thanks. Bye. That was a stroke of luck. If he wasn't after your purse, and he wasn't after your phone, then what was he after? Any luck? No, not much. Most of them seem to be out. Look, there's a bloke at number 28 says there's a man round here who's got a drug addict's son. Always round here causing trouble for his dad. Now, he's heard a disturbance this morning. He reckons it might have been him. We'll go and have a word. Yeah. Oh, Gary, um, how's Naomi? I didn't want to get her hopes up, you know. Oh, she's loving every minute of it. Told me she's a writer, right? She's had three novels published, and guess what? Crime's a speciality. Is that right? And I reckon she's got the hots for you, mate. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, Gary, you're dreaming. Still, it must be weird, you know, being back and not having your mate Des about. Look, we were colleagues, all right? Never mates. No, I wonder if he'll ever be found, though. I mean, for all we know, he could be still living in some hill, locked up in someone's back room somewhere, never to see the light of day again. Yeah, look, I haven't seen him, all right? I was nearly burned alive because of him. I'm only going to have him as a house guest. He's hmm. been stuck in there with the red duct tape. Amateur job. So who has access to this? Well, the female teaching staff, for a start. Uh, it's the men I'm interested in, Stephen. No, that's made sense. They're in that all the time. The place is falling to pieces. What about security? Yeah, them too. There's a guy here at night, patrols everywhere. Do you ever come in here? What would I be doing in here? Sorry, change rooms are closed for another five more minutes. Round up the girls for classes, maybe? Of course not. It's strictly women only. I could lose my job. But children change in this changing room as well as women, yeah? Right, forensics are on their way to secure the duct. And if we can just have the staff room locked up until we get it searched. I'm on it. Uh, when was maintenance down here last? Look, I'll take you straight to the map. After all, Simon Hill is a bit of a weirdo. That's so. Uh... Brian Hammond. That's me. Mr Hammond, I'm PC Hollis. This is PC Best. We're from Simon Hill. We're investigating an incident in the street this morning. Wonder if you heard or saw anything unusual at about 10 o'clock. I wasn't here, I'm afraid. Well, one of your neighbours said that there might have been a disturbance at this address about that time. Like I said, I was out. Well, what about your son was here? Look, I don't know anything about a disturbance. If you don't mind, I'm busy. We understand there might have been some problems here with your son. Could he have been in? Look, there was a minor incident, but it's a family matter. Now, as I've said, I'm busy. This is a police matter now. We're investigating an assault. We think there may have been a link. We need to speak to your son. Is he here? No. Well, can you tell me where he might be? I don't know. Look, my son has got drugs problems, but he's not violent. Where does he live now? He's between places. He's been staying here for a few days. Can you give me a description? He's 20, 5'8", dark hair, scruffy with tattoos on his arms. Hang on. Hey, Reg. Must have been what Naomi heard. It's an odd window to break into, isn't it? I mean, almost be impossible without a ladder. Unless she had a long ladder, you know. It's 
called Charlie. Charles Hammond. Can you tell me where he might be now? Let me know if you find him. I will do. Oh, uh, one last thing. Upstairs there's a window that's broken. When was that smashed? I've told you. It's a family matter. Smell that? Yeah. Marijuana. Yeah, I should have told you. Salmon's a bit of a pot. To it. Oh, hi, sorry to come in unannounced like this, but we were just passing. I'm with my mate Sandra, she's in the car. Oh. Have you remembered something from this morning? I thought it might be important. I think the bloke was barefoot. I'm sure I heard his feet slapping the pavement as he ran off. Slapping? Yeah, slapping. How's it going with the investigation now? Well, we think we found the window that you heard being broken. Now, do you reckon it was upstairs? Or downstairs? Upstairs, I'd say, judging by the gap between the window smashing and the glass hitting the floor. Mm. Yeah, well, look, look, if you think of anything else, uh, pop in again or give us a call. Maybe when you're a bit less busy, you can talk me through the investigation. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Well, look, thanks for coming in. Uh, I've got to go now. Will you be all right? Oh, I'll be fine, thanks. OK, well, bye, Naomi. Uh, I'll call soon. All right. So why did you run? I didn't. I mean, I did. I didn't know who you were. Were you smoking cannabis in the boiler room? No. <laughs> Whatever. I'll be having words with your manager about that, but at the moment, my main concern is the camera. What camera? The video camera hidden in the female changing rooms. <laughs> You're joking. No, Mr Hill. We're not joking. And if we find footage of children on the tape, whoever installed that camera is in a lot of trouble. <laughs> you don't think I had something to do with it, do you? Well, that's what we were trying to find out, but you ran off. It wasn't me, I swear. We'd like to search your locker, please. Do you mean we've got a peeping Tom? Dunno, yet. Have you ever been in a female changing room? Yeah, loads of times. But uh, only to fix things. Taps, lights. Not when there's anybody there. Oh, aren't you going to search the rest of them? How easy is it to get into the ventilation duct? A oh, piece of cake. It's only a couple of screws. <laughs> Any idiot can do it. What time does the centre shut? Uh, 10 o'clock in the week, 11 o'clock at the weekends. But uh, it's pretty quiet in the week. Well, well, well. What have we got here? Whose locker is this? Come on, girls, look lively. Come on, Mandy. Keep kicking those legs. I'm here, please, Mr. Tomlin. What? Is it about Simon? Please, let's not make a scene in front of the kiddies. What are you on about? I'm afraid we're going to have to arrest you. I told you my camera was stolen. It's got nothing to do with me. Look at this. We searched your locker. There's a few questions we need answering. Let's see something. 
I'm arresting you on suspicion of making a Come decent on, girls, carry on, carry on, carry on, come same, on. It may harm the defence. But you're stitching me up, it wasn't me. Then it would be quite simple to eliminate. In your question, you failed to mention something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence, me. okay? You're making a big mistake. Whatever. Seems to have lost his charm all of a sudden. So should I transfer the tapes? See what's on them? Um, it's probably best if I do it, because there could be sensitive stuff on there. Look, I can do sensitive, you know? Fine, fine. Well, well, you look at the tapes and I'll get his flat searched. OK, fine. Thank you. So how well does your Jasmine know him, then? He trained there for a couple of years. You're thinking about the old food and coach stereotype, aren't you? Well, they seem friendly, that's all. They probably are, unfortunately. Calm down! They just tried Calm down! That's it! That's it. That's enough! That nature. is enough! Right, I'll have that for a start. OK. Sir, if you could just stand there, I'll talk to you in a minute. You come with me. What's the shouting match about? That thieving creep is trying to steal me money. What exactly did he do? I just told you he tried to rob me. I was just standing here and he attacked me. OK, wait there. I'll go and talk to him. Well, don't listen to him. He's a liar! Right, sir, she is claiming that you tried to steal money off of her. Is that true? Ha! Is that what she's saying? Mm -hmm. It's very simple. She's a hooker and I give her 30 quid for her services in good faith. Only now, she won't, you know. He's talking out of his ass! Right, that's enough. You stay over there or I'll arrest you. He's full of it. Why are you believing him? I heard you the first time. Now, butt me. As I was saying, she won't do the business and won't give me money back. Frankly, I don't mind which she gives me, but she has to give me one or the other, if you know what I mean. That is rubbish, and you know you hate hey, me! Right, I, 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 I warned you! I warned you! I am arresting you for breach of the peace. You do not have to say He's anything. He's the one who's But he may yeah. harm you on yeah, yeah, yeah. you not Thanks mention. When you question it. something which you later rely on in court, anything you do That's say right. may be given in evidence. Sir, would you be prepared to come down to the station and give a statement? Glad to be of any help. All right, can you just wait in your car? I'll talk to you in a minute. I'm going to need to see your driving licence. You stupid cow, you should be arresting him. Shh! Uh, mate, Sam. Was she there? No! It's my older brother. She'd killed me if she'd known. How old? Eighteen. How old are you? <laughs> Fourteen. Just. <laughs> Bit past it to be a copper, aren't you? Time you got pensioned off. What on your lip and signed me belongings. He's not coming in, you know. You're wasting your time. And mine. That's not a very nice way to talk to a sergeant. Charming. So, what was all that about? Oh, she tried to clip a punter. The sooner he gets here, I feel in the blanks, the sooner this headache could go away. How are you feeling? Hot. Yeah. Well, I'm not We didn't find any more tapes, but we did find loads of swimming costumes in a drawer under the bed. So how are we doing with the tape from the showers? Still being dried out. It'd be ready, end of play. OK. Well, let's get him interviewed. See how he explains away the costumes. Unfortunately, the home movies aren't illegal. So we could be bailing him. Rob, do you want to set the interview up now? Go. He could be grooming these girls, you know. Voyeurism can be the first step on the sex crime ladder. I know that, Romani. But we haven't got the evidence. No. Look, um... Do you want to stand down from this case? No, God. Found 
there's a guy in there threatening the customers, desperate for cash. You up for it? Yeah. I'll keep an eye on this lock. Okay. Where are you going? Come on! Give me some money! I'll do it, I'll burn it all down! All right, son. What are you doing here? Get out! Get out now! I'll do it! I'll do it! I'll burn it all down! All right, look, we're just here to make sure you don't hurt yourself. I'll do it! Come on! Get out now! I'll do it! Get out! All right. Okay, we're out of here. That guy's got a petrol can and a lighter. He's threatening to torch himself. It's off his head. Hasn't even got any shoes on his feet. Sounds like someone we're looking for. Yeah, I see. Oh, what nice. He's out of control. He's not going to talk to anyone. Yeah, but I'll deal with him. Look, we need a trained negotiator down here, otherwise he's going to talk to the place and himself. It's all right, Tony. I know his name. Just give me a minute with him. I might be able to get through. Look, Reg, you sure this is a good idea? Don't question me, Gary! Charlie? How do you know my name? I've come to help you, Charlie. My name's Reg. Look, why don't you just put down the lighter in the can and we can talk? I don't get Reg. What do you mean? Well, if I'd only just survived third degree burns, the last place I'd want to be is in there with a nut or in a can of petrol. I want money! Now! You see? I mean it! I'll do it! If you want to help me, tell them to give me some money! I've just spent three weeks in hospital after being in a fire. And it was no fun. I'm lucky to be alive as it goes. No matter what you're going through now, it's going to be twice as bad if you like that. Why don't you just put it down? We can work something out. You're not listening to me! Look, I can get you something. I'll get you a fix. I'll get you a hit. I can do that. We'll get something for you. We'll get you away from here, get you sorted out, all right? Come on now, come on. I can get you something from a hospital or a doctor or something. Something makes you feel better. All right? Come on now, I promise you that now. Come on now. Promise me you'll give me these things now. Come on now. I can get you something. I promise you I can. Just give me these. Come on. You all right, mate? Yeah, I'm all right. Mate. Oh, sure, he's gonna light it. You okay? <laughs> Tony? Do you ever see your swimming pupils socially? Occasionally. In what context? We meet up, have a laugh, just like normal friends. Making grubby videos, it's, it's not normal between friends. Neither is someone your age hanging around with teenage girls. It's harmless fun. It's good for them to socialize with someone more mature. Have you ever had sex with any of your pupils? No, that would be ungentle of me to say. What about the swimming costumes we found under your bed? Don't tell me. They're yours. No, I'm a swimming coach. I have to buy spares for the team. Second hand? They're not brand new. Did you steal them from the leisure centre? No. We found red duct tape in your locker, Steve. That's the same duct tape that was used to mount the hidden camera. Which you failed to mention when it was stolen. Convenient. Now, my question to you is, did you hide your camera in the ventilation system of the women's changing room? I don't know how the duct tape got in there. And I've told you already, my camera was stolen weeks ago. He's been bailed for now. Well, keep digging around. I mean, this is a murky one. Did he identify any of the other girls on his videos? Well, he gave us some names. He reckons they're all over 16. We're going to contact and confirm that and hopefully hear what happens after the camera stops rolling. Have you spoken to Jasmine? No, no. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd like to do it face to face and not here, so I've arranged to meet her at five at home. Okay. I want to know how this guy operates. This could be the tip of the iceberg. Or a guy who just likes watching dirty movies. 
Charlie, this is Marjorie, she's the FME. Now she's going to look after you and check you over, and she'll give you something to get rid of the shakes, all right? It's quite a show by all accounts, Reg. Well, it's not in her day's work, you know. Yeah, well, I can't afford to have you out of action any longer, so no more heroics, eh? Why is everyone treating me like the Where are we with the assault on Naomi Clark? Well, she heard glass being smashed just before she was attacked, and we found a broken window at Charlie's house. His dad, however, is trying to keep us out of it. Well, do you think what she heard might have been a domestic? Well, it's possible, but I think it's probably a burglary in progress, more likely. I mean, Charlie is a drug addict, and he's a desperate one at that. OK, so she was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Mm. CID want you and Gary to conduct the interview. They seem to think that you're going to get more out of him. Charles? Your pump is showing up, yeah? No. And I'm beginning to think that Tom might have had a reason to kick off. Well, you think he might be too embarrassed? No, no, he, he told me she was a prostitute. Worth running a check on him? Yeah. What's his name? Lenny Harris. We talked to your dad, Charlie. We know there was some sort of disturbance at his house. What happened? Nothing. There was a broken window. Do you know anything about that? No. Look, your dad doesn't want to make anything of it, and neither do we. But we need to know if the disturbance has anything to do with the assault we're investigating. I told you. I don't know anything about an assault. In the FME. She said that she's found marks on your wrists and on your ankles. Can you explain those? Are they to do with your addiction? I think you better have another little talk with me, Dad. Oh, dear. Your punter has got four and for theft and assault against three other Toms. Looks like he's pimped before, too. I don't believe it. I've just arrested a robbery victim for kicking off at him. Oh, do you want me to get her released? No. Face the music myself. Let me ask you this. Have you ever had your child banging on the door, begging for money to fill his arm with poison? Probably not. Or watched him shake and puke his guts up because you turned him away? No. No. So don't come preaching to me about what I should and shouldn't do with me own. All right? Did you tie Charlie up and hold him here against his will? I did what I had to do. I had to try and detox him. He were desperate. He was in a terrible state. Well, he got out, right? God knows how, but he did. So it was him who smashed through that window? Yeah, his door were bolted. When I come home, the room were trashed and the window were broken. And then you came knocking. you come down to the police station with us? Whatever. A mistake. You took one look at me and decided I was guilty, didn't you? Single mom trying to make ends meet you must be a thief. That's what you thought, wasn't it? No, I didn't. I arrested you for breach of the peace. You were out of control. Yeah, and now you know why. I was being attacked by that nutter. I'm not the first and I won't be the last. Look, all I can do is apologise and promise you we will find this man. But, uh, it would help if you could give us a statement about the incident before we go out. Oh, really? Well, right now, the only one I'm going to make a complaint about is you, you sad old cow. Take a reality check, love. You've lost the plot. Apparently, Steve Tomlin came back to pick up some of his stuff. One of the dads spotted him, and then all hell broke loose. Chased him all over the place, and uh, threatened to kick his head in. Who's the artist? Hmm. No one's saying. It's a team effort. And uh, he's had his car tire slashed. So where's Tomlin now? Locked himself in there. And the dad? Took off when I arrived, apparently. Thanks, Tony. We'll take it from here. Sure. Oh, Stephen. Miss Diaz de Costa. The mob's gone. You can come out now. We could just leave, but I suspect the mob's going to come back. Animals. You should lock them. 
What's the matter, Stephen? Can you not handle yourself? Stupid, clingy parents. They're all the same. You're all chat. That's why you like young girls. Can't hack it with a real woman. <laughs> of course, you don't even know real mum, are you? Give it a rest, Stephen. We're trying to save your ass. Are you this uptight because you haven't got your own children to smother? Or are you just plain frustrated? Careful. You are pathetic. Getting your kicks out of spying on women and children in the showers, drying it on with young girls. Oh. And where do you get your kicks? Well, don't you? Apparently you and your old man sleep in separate rooms. Maybe that's your problem. Miss De Costa. I heard Dad go out. I got one step off. I don't know how. And I managed to undo the others. But the door was locked. Well, it looks like you broke out of a window. Yeah. I remember standing in the front garden. I suppose I must have jumped. And what happened then? I don't know. I just ran. What about the woman? Do you remember hitting her? Kind of. I was running. I didn't do it deliberately. She must have got in the way. She's blind, Charlie. She couldn't get out of your way. What? Well, I didn't mean to hurt her. Is she okay? She's fine. It is an offence to hold someone against the will. Do you want her sisters in a prosecution against your father? I was only trying to help. As usual. He's a good man, your dad. You're lucky to have one who gives a damn. Your dad is here, Charlie. Will you talk to him? Sounds like vandalism, a load of kids on the cop form, breaking bottles. Are you sure you want to deal with it? I can handle a few kids. I mean, I'm happy to go to another PC if you've got better things to do. Oh, Mr. Harris? You're just the three hours late. Coming in through the back door, are you? What's he to you? Tried to spin me a line that Tom had ripped him off. When she protested, I ended up arresting her. Her name Karen, by any chance? Yeah. Well, her mates were looking out for her. They had him surrounded. He'd been trying to muscle in on their patch, take a cut. Totally. Yeah, well, it was a last resort, you know, on behalf of his father. I mean, the man was desperate. I'm just glad you got to the bottom of it. Yeah, well, it's all part of the service, isn't it? Come on. I just wish it was always such plain sailing. I shouldn't think much rattles you, Reg. Oh, you'd be surprised. Do you know, I've been in this job for 20 years now, and I still ask myself sometimes whether I'm cut out for. What, you? <laughs> yeah, me. Well, I've been pushed to the edge a few times, you know? Well, isn't that part of the job description? Well, yeah, but you bounce back so often you begin to feel like a yo-yo. It's not what happens that matters, Reg, so much as how you deal with it. I learned that a long time ago. Always look forward, not back. No, oh, you're right, you're right. You're good at what you do. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, especially you. Oh, OK. <laughs> Now, look, we've got Charlie Hammond down in custody. He says to us that he hasn't got any memory at all of bumping into anyone. But, if you want to, we can still prosecute him if you say that you don't think it was an accident. No, I think we'll just drop it and move on. Hope the lad gets himself sorted. Well, right, we'll leave it at that then. Reg, there was something else. I was wondering... You see, I'm writing this book, and I was wondering whether I couldn't interview you sometime. Me? Yeah. I'd like to use you as the main character. Thanks! Ah! Come out, you little... Ah! Seen this mess? Yeah. I think it's come from over there. Do you know, I'm always doing that. What? Forgetting to cancel the milk when I go on holiday. Unbelievable. With the burglar right round here, they've only left the back door open. 
Well, either their freezer's defrosted, or we've got a corpse in there. How long do you think you'll be keeping him? Well, that'll be up to CID, because they're dealing with it now. Right. I'll let you know, though. Thanks. I'll talk to you later. Rich, I hear your first day back was a successful one. Oh, yeah. Are you still going to see a Carl? No. Look, Des has gone now. He hasn't got hold over me anymore. I'm not going to let him win this one. Good. You've gone through enough for that man. Time to look out for number one for once. Yeah, well, I have to admit, uh, I rather enjoyed being PC Reg Ollis today, instead of Desi's sidekick. Too right. As far as I'm concerned, Desi's dead now. You and I can move on. Forget he ever existed. I never get used to that smell. Here we go. Mrs. T. Ryan. Why don't you let me go upstairs? Have I got used to this female tattooed on my forehead today? No. Well, stop patronising me. I'm sorry, I just thought... No, don't think, Gabriel. Just do. The changing room tapes, Gov. Yeah, um, are you sure you're up to this? Absolutely fine. After this, we go back to mine and interview Jasmine, okay? Okay. Here we go. Fool. Told you it was an amateur job. I'll see you outside. We got him. We've an IC1 female, apparent suicide. No suspicious circumstances. 39 Harville Road, round the back of the Cockthorn Estate. Over. Receive 416. We'll do the necessary. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Come on outside. You need some fresh air. Oh. This must be your worst nightmare. One like a skin all over again, isn't it? Oh, I'm sorry. You've got nothing to apologise for. 416 from Sierra Oscar. The FME is on her way. Do you want the duty officer to attend? No. Sierra Oscar from 416. No need. Situation under control. Over. Received. Oh, I'm sorry. I... You are the last person that I want to see me like this. Don't be daft. I wouldn't have handled it half as well. It's just... I... I've still got the image of her in my head. 
It's as clear as day. I can see her hanging from my staircase. She looked exactly the same. Face that blue grey colour. Hey. Come on. <laughs> oh. It's all over. It'll be all right. No, 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 no I don't believe you. Oh no, oh no, I'm not falling for that again. What are you talking about? <laughs> You've stung me before, Gabriel. What is it with you? Why do you, why do you always get me when I'm down? No, it's not like that. I never made her. Don't give me that. You, you stay away from me. Kitchen's through there, Rob. Yeah, coffee, milk, two sugars, harmonies. Jasmine. What's the matter, sweetheart? Huh? Don't. What happened? He raped me. What? Who did this? George. George, is everything open? Oh. Steve did it. Steve Tomlin. Next time on the bill. Tell me that he hasn't hurt you before. You will not destroy my marriage. Oh, shut up, Tony. Okay, just shut up. It's my family's gonna pay for what you did today. <laughs>